It's time for heavyweight action here at KLK from Kishino, Moldova. My name is Daniel Austin. Thanks for being with us here tonight. And there you get your first look at Habib Ibragimov from Russia. I'll tell you what, when I hear the name Abragamov and I hear the, the, the country of Russia, I immediately think of Sultan Ibragimov, the former heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Ibragimov with a very slow stroll down to ringside here, soaking it all in, looking at this sold out crowd here in Kishino. He's seven years younger than his opponent at 24 years old. Maxim Bolotov, familiar face to KOK fans, has fought here many times. He's a very big, powerful, rough and tough fighter is Bolotov, and he has been in some wars over the years. Comes in with a record of 13-4 and 2, so he's seven years older than his opponent. He's got quite a bit more experience and he's fighting here in his hometown of Kishino. Boy, does he look in great shape for this fight. Got some pretty sweet dance moves too. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner. 24 years old, official height 187 centimeter, official weight 104 kilogram. His personal record, five wins, two losses. Participant and prize man of international fighting events from Russia, Habib Ibrahimov. <laughs> fighting for the red corner. 31 years old, official height 188 centimeter, official weight 104 kilogram. His personal record, 13 wins, 4 losses. WPKA European and World Champion, European ITF Taekwondo Champion, fighter representing Thai Boxing Club, Moldova, Maxi Boloto. Ring referee Suhan Yulian, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Red corner. You are fighting KOK rules, obey my command all the time, no clinching, no elbow. Shake your hands if you want to, go to your corner. Judge, judge, judge. First round, fight! Round one. I don't know who is measuring these guys, but there's definitely more than just a one centimeter height differential here. You can see when they're face to face, Abragamov looks m like a much larger individual. Kick that time from the Russians. Boloto looks like he means business here in this first round. Crowd knows that it could be an omen of what's to come. Whoa! Boloto unloads with the right hand of the body. And a push kick as well. Boloto is fired up for this fight, man. I'll tell you what. But Bragimov doesn't look too worried about it so far. He's got a little bit of a smirk on his face as he fires back with a big left hand now. Ooh, 
Loto with a solid shot. You can hear that one connect. Ooh, slapping inside low kick there from the Moldovan. Make no mistake about it. Both these guys have a lot of power. I've seen both these guys in action before, and they really know how to throw heavy shots. There you see one of them. A lot of cracked him with that left hand. That may wake him up a little bit. And a brag him up just out of range. Balotov caught him on the chin with that jab. Right on the point of the chin. I like that right hand. I like that right hand down to the body. It's a straight shot. He's a taller fighter, so... Almost like you're just throwing a straight shot right downstairs on a slight angle. And referee Yulian Suhan right on top of the action here. Luckily for him, he doesn't have to move around too much in there. These guys are almost standing right in front of each other. Nobody's circling or moving away. Almost daring the other guy now as Bolotu stretches out with a big overhand right. There's that right hand to the body again, and a head kick just narrowly misses. I could feel the wind off that one here at ringside. Five. End of round one. Round one action from this heavyweight contest between Habib Abragamov and Maxim Bolotov. Saw some pretty powerful shots there from time to time. I think that Bolotov may have landed one really good power shot to the head, but Abragamov so far still in good shape, as is Bolotov. Both guys don't look to be in too much trouble in their corners. Second round. So let's see what round two brings us. Both guys were, I don't want to say cautious, but we're not taking any big risks in round number one. Maybe we'll start to see something between these two here in round number two. It seems like Boloto at the beginning of these rounds really has big intentions. Bragov kind of awkwardly fell to the canvas there. I was in the ring earlier today. It, it doesn't seem like it's that, a slippery kind of a canvas. It, it's almost like the perfect texture when you're in there. It's, it's not too slippery. You can have good footing here. I haven't seen anybody slipping so far. Maybe just didn't distribute his weight correctly. A lot of times, just as you go to throw a strike, your opponent moves, and then it, you have to second guess what you were doing. These guys keeping a very close eye on each other. They know that one shot could change the whole game real quick, so nobody wants to rush into anything. Nice counter left hand there by Abragamov. Slapped him down to the kidney area. You can hear Bolotov take a deep breath in there. Both guys starting to open up a little bit more, especially Abragamov. There's that shot down to the body again. Loto looked like he wanted to switch stances there for a minute, but immediately went back to an orthodox. Take a look at the lower extremities of the left leg of Bolotov, all red, like beet red. I don't know if that's normal for him or if 
that was a somehow an effect of the fight, but you can see right in the front of the shin. The discoloration. Could just be from training beforehand or I don't know Stop. if it was from the fight or not. Well, that one was definitely from the fight. That one hit him right where the sun okay. don't shine. Ooh. Okay. Time. Fight. Oh, I popped him with the jab. Perfect timing. It's a low kick in return. And that one hit him in the nose on the way out. As business starting to pick up a little bit here at the end of round number two. Belotov trying to track him down. Bragimov always moving back into his left. 10-second hammer has already gone down. Axe kick attempted just before the bell, showing off the Taekwondo background of Boloto. Take a look at this crowd on hand here at the Minaj Sports Arena. A lot of VIPs in attendance here around ringside and all of the seats taken. A little bit of a different setup in the arena here this time around, but usually they have one of those long entrance ramps, but I kind of like this setup. Pretty sweet if you ask me. Say mop Final up the round. corner of Fight. Bolotov, and here Final we go. Round. round number three action here between these heavyweights. I think that these guys started to get a little bit more busy there right at the end of round number two, so let's see what they do here. They're gonna keep up that pace. Take a look at the welt on the, just below the, chest on the right side of the body of Ibragimov. Red as a beat. Oh, and Belotov had a nasty spill there as he slipped. And now you can see that it's, it's kind of wet in the center of the ring now. I think that's from Belotov is pouring a, quite a bit of water and that some of that has been taken into center ring from him. A lot of times you'll see the referee toweling the fighters off if they're too much water on him. Nice body kick there. <laughs> Bragimov now getting in the face of Bolotov. Both guys closing the distance now. And Bolotov, well, complaining of an elbow, he kind of turned his back on him. And let the referee know about it. Bolotov's doing a great job with his, his jabs, his straight rights. Had a lot of success with those throughout this fight. You can see, almost see the wheels turning inside the minds of these guys as they're trying to read their opponents as a big grimace on the face of Maxim Bolotov there. He doesn't like how Ibragimov is fighting right now. And it, Crowd likes it. I think that could be firing up Bolotov as he caught him with a couple of shots there as he momentarily had his back almost completely turned. Oh, hard shot that time with those tree trunk like legs of the Russian. Nice shot.
shot by Balotu. Referee didn't call for a break or a stoppage in the action as Ibrahimov is trying to get away. Time slipping away in this final round. Ooh, he reaches out with a right hand and narrowly misses. Balotu, sidekick, oh, oh, Yeah, FEA president Dorian Damir likes what he sees. I'm pretty sure Damir has an extensive martial arts background as well. He can appreciate that shot. Boy, that was weird. Let's take a look at it again. It was, there was almost this moment like Ibragimov didn't even think anything was coming. Oh, right in the solar plexus. It's almost like he just gave him that kick. Oh, what a sickening shot right in that injured area. Oh, my goodness. Somebody better call his mama. That could cause permanent injury. Well, it's going to be a rough trip back to Russia for Habib Abragamov. And that was almost like Balotu was almost looked like he was disappointed by the last shot. Like, how could he even let me get that in there? Let's get the official. Ladies word. and gentlemen, KOK Super Fight. At the very final round, after 2 minutes 51 seconds, by technical knockout, the winner is. Red corner, Maxi Bolotov. Well, Bolotov really measured him with that, with that martial arts-like kick. Nailed him right in the upper portion of the abdomen, just under the rib cage. Holy smoke. Well, you say it all the time. And sometimes people don't take it seriously enough. All it takes is one shot from these big heavyweights. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. How's that for a cliche? What a fight. 